Hey folks, my name is Alesia and I'm going to show you what I've stitched this week. I've started with uh, Sky Castle with uh, dragons and this week I stitched this treasure building. It was quite easy peasy lemon squeezy and uh, it took about one day. Actually I stitched it on 31st of December and it it took about five hours and last 20 uh, first 20 minutes of January 1st and I was happy to to finish it on first night of this year and it was nice to see it full by the end of this uh, sprint and let me show you what I teach it else on this um, on the same picture for this week I had the task to stitch this hole in this um, bridge so I decided that to see it um, to have it more visible and have a bigger picture I stitched it like um, this uh, piece so uh, now I have this bridge part of this small building actually I call it small castle and actually uh, this bridge um, has a turn and here I see it's like a big hole maybe it's a gate somebody back door I would call why they don't have a do actually door I, I have no idea but it looks like I made my task and I just need to finish a couple more um, colors threads and this piece will be uh, finished and I will move to new piece after that on this work I've teached about 600 this week it was on this area I finished this background and moved to this bench there were lot, lots of uh, confetti colors like maybe from one to five cross stitches at a time so it took uh, quite a lot of time actually to have it done hopefully uh, next week I will be able to finish all this area and we'll move to next row on my own I stitched about 500 uh, stitches this time it was this small area and um, now it's um, it's done and I will move to here it's interesting to have lots of purple colors in it uh, just because it's an owl and it's uh, weird to have such a unusual car colors on it but uh, as you can see on camera it's not like it doesn't look strange and and it's very interesting how it will on a bigger picture also this week i started this nice uh, winter fractal i call it winter flower and um, actually i have four of them for each season so for the next couple of months i'm going to stitch uh, this uh, winter fractal and we'll move to spring one when march starts I've made this chart by myself and it's quite a tough one I would say but hopefully I will get used to it and it will not be difficult to stitch at this point I, I'm using um, Chinese uh, threads not DMC one and um, Chinese from Aliexpress um, Canva so it gives some difficulties but hopefully I will get used to it uh, I hope to have good progress every week by by the end of february a couple weeks ago i started this work which uh, have been designed for melange threads which is very interesting and contains dwarf which is uh, very interesting for me and i'm uh, i hope to have at some point a collection of different uh, dwarfs on my walls so it was interesting experience and uh, this week i i've stitched these pieces um, this uh, flower and I started armchair and uh, dwarf itself so I, I'm really looking forward to see how it will look like as a whole piece uh, as of now um, I know that my colors are not perfect but hopefully it will be good when I have the uh, full picture and the last one for this week for me was this tiger uh, I was able to stitch uh, this area it's about 2000 cross stitches uh, this week this grass on background looks very nice and it was quite easy 
piece and I really like that it's it's pre-printed Canva so I can stitch without um, actually looking on the chart and this week I've stitched my Christmas decorations I wasn't able to finish them this before holidays but hopefully I will be able to finish them at some point just don't want to move them to the next season uh, I mean to put them in a drawer for a, almost for a year at this point uh, just because it's maybe about one or two weeks of work and I will have them done and don't need to move them to put them aside thank you for watching and see you next week with my next update thank you see you bye